Welcome to part two of uh, our video series covering message handlers with a concrete example. So in this project, if you are new, um, it will make more sense to you if you watch part one. But if you don't want to, um, so what, what we created last time was this project here. Uh, this is a fake form, but the bulk of it is we want to be able to notify our users when they're submitting a form of um, of any errors or we may even want to notify them that they submitted the form successfully and that the data was saved say to a database or something like that so say that this label here is expecting a number uh, a quantity and you enter some text in there right and when they go to submit well there are a couple ways to do this you can enforce um, certain types on your text area but say you didn't want to do that but when you go to submit you want to tell the user what they're doing and why they're not allowed to submit the form. So that's the gist of the project today. Um, so we got it working to where it'll show up. The, the air will show up here and disappear after a certain time. Today we're going to make that time configurable. So remember last time um, it was set to a default five seconds. Also we're going to make the color configurable as well and maybe some other things if I think of them. So first of all, let's, um, you don't really need to enable this or set this display to true to right click and then go to configure scripts. You could just go here and go configure scripts and do the same thing. Okay, so we want to be able to send, or this is actually the receiving end. This is the receiving end receiving end sorry for any confusion um, let's first go to the sending end remember our the alert will be triggered from the submit button or it can actually be triggered from outside of this view it could be triggered from another completely different view uh, that's the power of using a message handler versus just using a script like this and then accessing that alert component which is something we could have done right uh, the flex alerts right here, we could have toggled the display property from here, but using message handler is more powerful because you can um, toggle that property from a completely different session even. So remember, this is what we ended up with last time. Um, okay, so this, this here is just getting a random, it's not random uh, if you if you click the submit button at an even interval or like at a at a set interval you're going to get the same value every time but this is just simulating basically so sometimes when the user hits submit it'll trigger the errors the error state sometimes it won't so if is error uh, so if this number is error here is if the date the current date uh, mod two. This is just checking if it's even. If if it's one, it means it was an odd number in here. This means that it, it was an even number. Let's say when it when it was an odd number, it was a red color. I actually have this backwards. Uh, it's in an error state, and then when it's an even number, it will be the green color. Okay. So sending this message here, let me actually add a comment that way we don't have to think about it every time. There we go. Here we can add success state. Apply. Okay. Let's go back to our sample alert. This time let's expand it and click on the embedded view. Uh, so let me actually enable the proper the display property, set that to true. And then here I want, okay, make sure it's not in play mode. I want to open my script. Sorry, the flex alert here. Open the script. What I want to do now is pass in this color, uh, this color here. And this timeout, uh, the timeout we actually don't need to pass in, the color we will pass in. 
we'll pass into this embedded view. The reason why we did we just didn't create a view and then toggle its on and off property is because <clears throat> once we create this view here, uh, alert embedded view, we can use that in any other place we want to trigger a similar alert. So it makes it reusable. Okay, we want to pass this color into the view. How will you do that? Well, we can access the embedded views params property. So here, there we go. And then we will set it to color. Let me actually look at this before I do something incorrectly. So let me add a param here, we'll call it color. Uh, let me add another param. Actually, no, we just need to pass, the, oh, never mind. We need to pass the text in. I totally forgot about that. So we need to pass in text value. Oh, it's already, so it's already passing in correctly. Let's set this to green, 00, zero FF00. Zero, zero. Oh, there we go. Uh, what about 0000 zero, 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 FF? It should be blue. Okay, nice. FF0000. Zero, 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 zero. And then text, we will pass in any text here. Uh, for example, air you encountered an air. Of course, it's not a very helpful <laughs> error message, but you get the idea. So on this message here, on this message handler show alert, we want to be able to set our color property. So let's go to props params color now and set it to this color here. And then also our text that we will send over set it to the text property. So let me just browse this again, it is equal to text. And then it'll display for a timeout here. That's why we don't need to pass the timeout. It's because it's used at this level. We don't actually need to pass it into this embedded view. Let me hit okay. But remember, we didn't actually add a text. We're not sending any text yet. Okay, so let me edit this guy here and uh, let me add a text property. Text um, error. Please check your text input and resolve some random message. Uh, and then of course we want to set text for when they successfully submitted. So like info successfully submitted QC record or something like that. Okay, so our color we are passing in from our button once again. Let's review this. We're passing our color from this button. It's going to the message handler of this alert. From So from here, the text we were just looking at, color, it's going to the message handler of this alert, flex alert, flex component here. We're receiving our color in our text and remember we're setting it to the embedded views parameters. So we're setting it here, we're setting these two, then these two are getting passed into this alert embedded view here. So this property we don't even need in here. Okay, so let, let's go back here, um, turn this off, my flex alert, save, and then go back to our session. Okay, so it 
should alternate between green and red if we get lucky. Okay, maybe next time. Uh, keeps giving me an error state. Uh, I should be logging. Okay, so it's one. There we go. There we go. So we have a green message here. Another green message. So when this was passed in successfully, or submitted successfully, we get a, a good message or a successful error message. When it isn't, we get an error here. And this lets the users know exactly what they're doing incorrectly. Okay, so let's look at what else we can improve. Um, actually, I'll leave it at that. I do have an idea for another video uh, where we will look more closely at message handler scopes. So remember this listen scope, um, it's an interesting project or an interesting topic in and of itself. Uh, and I think it could be best demonstrated using a project with these alerts if you have several um, layers. So if, if you have your session here, imagine if this window is a pop-up window and behind it is the main window. And then when you hit submit, you can trigger and send a message or send an alert to many different views, as many different views as you want. You just have to set the correct listeners on, on your message handlers. So I'm not sure if this was at all useful, but I'll upload it anyway. Um, this completes this little example with the alert. I find it a useful tool whenever you're doing data collection within Ignition. Um, so I thought I'd share it and also maybe hopefully explain a message the message handler component or property a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that was worth your time. I will see you in the next video.